example, sometimes you have a chart of values. In this case, we have years in the U.S. and population in millions of the U.S. So in 1900, the population was approximately 76 million. 1910, it was 92 million. So you're in social studies class and the teacher says, what was the population of 1963? So you look down here and you can't find 1963. You have 1960, 1970. So what do you do? You interpolate. Here's how you do it. Let's take 1963 and find out what two dates would it be between. And it would be, be between 1960, which the population is 179 million, remember it is millions, and 1970, the population is 203. Those are the two dates that I'm trying to find. The population of 1963 is between there. Oops, 1970 here. Okay, now, so what I do is I write down in between these two, 1963. What is that number? Well, we can set up some ratios and figure it out. For example, the ratio from here to here is 3, and from here to here is 10. The ratio from here to here, I don't know, so I'm going to call that x, but the ratio from here to here, I can use my calculator and subtract. So once I have my ratio, x over 24, and 3 over 10, I set up this fraction, and then I multiply, and I get x times 10, so I get 10x, and 3 times 24 is 72, divide by 10, so x is approximately 7. I really get x equals 7.2, but I want to round to a whole number. So x is 7, that means that 7 would go here, so the final answer for 1963 is 179 plus 7. 179 plus 7, figure that out, you get 186. So the population in 1963 is about 186 using linear interpolation. And again, that's 186 million because our population was in millions. So here's another type of problem. Inverse interpolation. Find the year that the population was 140 million. So I look here, and where is 140 million? Well, it's between 132 million and 151 million, and they want me to find 140. So again, 132, the year was 1940. 151, the year was 1950. So I need to find this missing year. Again, set up ratios. What's the difference between 132 and 140? 8. What's the difference between 132 and 151? And that's 19. What's the difference between 1940 and 1950? 10. What's the difference that I want? X. So again, all you have to do is set up a little ratio and solve the ratio, and you'll have the problem. All right, x is approximately 4. So x is approximately 4. So my 4 goes here. Should I add it or subtract it? If I add, I get 1944. Is that between 1940 and 1950? Oh, yeah. So 19. 44 is the year. And that's it. So hopefully you'll be able to do that too. Good luck with Another thing I want you to remember when you're doing these problems is when you get your answer, like in this case we have 1944, um, <clears throat> make sure it comes out between the two numbers you were trying to find a number between. If this came out to 152, and I'm looking for something between 1940 and 1950, then I need to go back and check all of my arithmetic. On either side, your number should always come out between the two that you're starting with. So be careful and make sure your answer makes sense. Good luck.